This is Philip Glove to Face Harris standing with George Honey Boy Blades at the House of Champions. George, thanks for doing this interview. Well, thank you. I always love it. Man, a lot of stuff going on. We just had a, a fight May 12th. I guess the next one is March 12th. March 12th. May 7th. So go to my all weekend. Okay, so 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 what are you expecting from from this show? Well, you know I ain't racist by far, but you I don't know how to say this the right way. You know what I mean? But it's gonna be a Mexican hold down. It's gonna be a you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a Mexican weekend. It's gonna be a Spanish weekend. But you know, I got a few brothers gonna be on the card too. Malcolm's on the card. You know what I mean? He's extremely exciting. Then we got Big Frank Lawrence on the card. You know, uh, which I'm glad to have him moving in the heavyweight division now. He's gonna stay active. Malcolm's gonna stay active. Uh, you know, we have a few other Spanish fighters on the card, so it's gonna be a really good weekend. Okay, and now uh, Malcolm is, is is catching some, you know, catching some fire. Really, you know what I mean? Like, like, um, who is he fighting? Man, listen, we gonna we, our next opponent. We're gonna bring in from probably Dallas, Texas. You know what I mean? We're gonna try to whoop somebody from every part of the country. You know, one at a time. You know, Ma Malcolm is a true student of the game. I mean, I mean, you know, I used to consider myself a throwback fighter. God willing, if I fight again, it'll be the same thing. But Malcolm is the closest thing that I done found from here to a throw. I'm talking about an old school, a throwback fighter. And he's learning, man. His progress is coming so wonderful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's, it's a blessing to have it. I'm actually excited to see him fight again, man. This last fight was, uh, it, it was pretty impressive. So, he fights on May 7th. Where do you want to see him in the next, I say, next year? A year from now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not trying to put the, the the wagon before the horse, you know what I mean? But, I mean, a year, a year and a half, I see us with the title. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, we know we we, we we able to do some serious things. He'll be, he'll be getting some junior titles this year. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, he's, he, he's really doing 10, 12 rounds in the gym right now for all those fighters out there that think they ready. Uh, you know, so... Uh, you know, he, we'll, we'll get him a junior title this year, and then we'll go from there. Let's hear him get in these rankings, you know what I mean, bust our way into these rankings and see what's going on from there. Okay. Is there anybody that's in the game, like any professional that he's like eyeing or you're eyeing that you know he can take right now? Man, I'm, t I'm you know, if, if I could get him in there, what's my man, Kovalev, the lightning weight champion of the world? Any of the super middleweight champions of the world, Jermaine, T Jim I mean, not Jermaine Taylor, Andre Ward, um, any, any of the guys, man, anything super super middleweight or 175, he can deal with. I mean, he can deal with it now. I mean, right now. You think he can take on Andre Ward? Oh my gosh! Give me, give me, give, give me a six week training camp. We'll beat Andre Ward's ass. Give me a six week training camp. We'll beat Andre Ward's ass. Okay. All right. All right. All right. As far as the gym, man, where are you positioning it to to go next? I mean, it's been getting better since I've been here. You know, and I know we have plans on doing this, doing that, but where do you want to see it in the next five years? Well, in the next five years, I want to be the number one. Next year, really, in the next year. I mean, I see where we can be the number one professional boxing promotional company, I mean, in the Midwest. And without a doubt, I see us uh, doing some things in the amateurs because I, re I really, you know, my amateurs think I was neglecting them, you know what I mean, because I've been so busy with the pros, but I'm not. I mean, I love their, I love their program as well. So we're going to do some amateur shows. We're going to do some martial arts shows. Uh, some kickboxing shows, uh, you know, definitely get that one young man on that, that Jason has, his, his little son, a superstar, whoever it is. I will make sure we get him on. Uh, and, 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 I mean, uh, you know, most of the martial arts, we might even be able to do some MMA shows. So, as far as promoting, we're going to do something every six weeks, six to eight weeks, every six to eight weeks, an amateur show and a pro show. Okay. Well, I know you're a busy man, man. That's all I want is just talk to you real quick. I appreciate your time. Always a pleasure. And, man, we'll, we'll see you good. All right.